RadioDR.co.za Original Podcast Exclusive Join myself, Hala And me, T On the No Filter Show Where we voice and discuss what everybody is thinking But is too afraid to say Topics that people want to engage in But are too afraid to bring up on public platforms We go where it is unpopular to go We dive into real life With real experience or opinions No topic is off limits Exclusive to RadioDR.co.za And take off. Welcome, 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 everybody. This is Ohala from Unfiltered. Hi, everyone. This is T. And welcome to the Unfiltered show on Radio DR.co.za. Later on in the show, we also have a special guest joining us today. But yeah, we will catch up with her later on. Yeah. So, we've got Nushi B from Wine O'Clock. How you doing, Nushi? I'm good. How are you guys doing? We're good. We're good. We're, we're good. good. Are Thank you whining today? Uh, guys, is it a Nushi B appearance if there's no wine involved? <laughs> <laughs> I can see the gal <laughs> and the <laughs> wine. <laughs> like, is it really? Was she there? Was she? All right. All right. I'll see you. I'll see you, Nushi. I kid. I kid. I kid. Get that. Now, look. Sip <laughs> on that wine. So, later we're going to be playing trivia. Uh, are you free or are you dumb? With Nushi B, so mm-hmm. hopefully she'll be plastered by then. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so T, uh, I think we've got pressing issues to get onto today. Mm-hmm. So what's on the agenda, lady? Huh. So one of our pressing issues that we're talking about today is relationships and specifically the aspects of clinginess, obsession and insecurities and we sort of need to get to a point where we define those and we know when to draw the line if it's still healthy or unhealthy so kicking it off we will start with obsession all right all right um i like how you the one that introduced the topic since most of these attributes are mostly related to your species or gender is it uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, like, whenever I think of insecurities, obsession, and clinginess, like, females are the first people that pop into my mind. Really? I, I, I think guys are equally the same. And that is where the aspects come, oh, uba food li si we. Yeah, because it's so li si we. Like, he's not clingy. Koni sanja se start. No, <laughs> no. Ask Uman Binge about no. that. He knows what I'm talking about. They can be equally smitten puppies. Like. Yeah, but I think that like being smitten is one thing. And being obsessed is a completely different mm. monster on its own. You know like, I, mean? I, I was actually um, reading earlier um, about obsessive love disorder. So, it's actually a thing. Is that a thing? It's even, like, associated with... In mental health, because it it gets to that point where you love somebody and then you're just plain obsessed. Everything and anything you say or do revolves around that person and you get to a point where they are oxygen. And Wait, uh, wait, wait. Is this a real thing? It is. Is this a real disorder? It is, and I'm just putting it out there. What's it, guys? Not realizing it. Whoa. Like, <laughs> meleba at me, twe. Kuma wati, because... For what? For loving somebody? Over. Okay, so... Are we now saying, Guti, there's something wrong with loving somebody to a fault? Uh, in a way, yes. Okay. So, it's a disorder. It is. Okay, so where Obsession do we draw the line? How do I know, Uguti, I've got OLD, which mm-hmm. is, you said it's what? Obsessive love, love disorder. Love disorder. So, yeah, how that's what do they I say. then know, Uguti, okay, you know what? Now, this is beyond the confines of what is normal for being into somebody. Like, when does it cross that threshold into being a disorder? It's not one thing, but it's linked to certain behaviors that you actually attribute to whilst in the relationship. It's one thing wanting to know where your partner is, how's their day, what they're up to. 
Uh, but it's borderline psychotic and a disorder if you're going to be putting trackers on them, <laughs> wanting to see <laughs> their every move. Th- that's 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 an obsession now. Exactly. And really, I want to because to an extent, it could be a mental illness whilst you're also not aware. And what that article that I read also said, yeah. Uti, Obsession also goes with the idea uh-huh. of love and what you could be with that person and that you may think you love them. So you think? You think. So does this That's stem the key from word. creating ideas in your own head? Exactly. Playing out n- like scenarios, trying to control narratives of, of how everything flows. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, basically, I feel like all these three things that we want to discuss are sort of intertwined, you Mm. know? Because as you're discussing my traits of a moon who's obsessive or who has, like, an obsessive disorder, um, like, clinginess comes to mind. Does this not all stem from clinginess? Like, here's how I look at it. Like, (laughs) you know? Of course. Yeah. So... Let, let's start with uh, my insecurities because first and foremost, when you're insecure and not secure within your position in somebody's life, mm-hmm. then it leads to you acting in a particular way. True. For some people, they go overboard, which then results into clinginess, mm. which is basically what? It's being too emotionally dependent. Mm. So True. once you cross that threshold. <laughs> or like, no, but I'm, I'm really curious because these things really do intertwine and where do we draw the line as people because you don't want to half-heart something and half-love mm. somebody. So where do we draw the line? Y- you know, going back to insecurities and how they build up and what causes them. You know, with insecurities, it's, it's basically that thing, yogurti, now where you don't trust yourself first and foremost and in turn that leads you not to trust your partner and insecurity comes with the you're afraid of being replaced you're afraid that your partner can do better than you because sometimes they can well i think in all cases they can everybody can always do better exactly you know, you can always find a better version of whoever you're with or a different version that speaks to your being better than the person that you're currently with. Mm. You know, so I think there's also that to remember. Yeah, so that just speaks to insecurities as a whole. And then there are Ostefe, the, the clingy people. But as you said, there's different levels um, because <laughs> how I define clinginess might be different to, to how okay, so I, I might say I care. Yeah. Let's I'm hear that. How do you define clingy? What is clingy for you? <sighs> for me, I don't know. It's it's like if we're together and we're in a relationship, you must also have a life outside our relationship. So you can focus on your job. Maybe you're doing other things on the side. You have your friends. You have your family. Um, and was it to balance everything out. So Umuntu in turn, also by Klingi, is basically going to revolve their whole lives around me. Like, dude, <laughs> you can do other things on the side, like get a fucking hobby. <laughs> You know, if you want yeah, to. Yeah, but if I'm it's clingy, you like are my it, hobby. Like in the you words the of the hobby. dragon. No, but you are my hobby. Like if I'm a clingy person, get a fucking hobby. You are the hobby. Then what? Then that's obsession. Okay, so these things really do intertwine. Yeah. Then, then if it gets to that, then it means you're addicted to me. I'm your drag. I'm your fix. But is that not what girls want? Like you guys watch movies. You watch, watch chick flicks. Safe. And then you convince yourselves as to what the idea of love is, since it's what you see in front of you, like the the romanticized nah, those idea people just live in the of bubble. what love is. But the thing is, girls are so hypocritical because what would happen is the moment as you say, mm. now it's a problem. Yeah. The moment I don't, it's another problem. 
No, la lela, uh, give me space without giving me space. <laughs> That's the thing. Like you <laughs> no, guys are so confusing. Like no, we we're, we're not. But don't be too much in my face, but don't disappear. Wow. So it's like when you guys are mad, do you want space or do you want us to hound you both? Both. That's what the heck. Like be clear mm. with where you stand. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I think as people, that's where we get it wrong, uh, both male and females, because we quite don't know how to read somebody else's love languages. And that's not the very important thing that we need to consider, that their love languages love out there. Love languages. And what if somebody else's love language is to smother you, and for you in turn, it becomes clinginess. So where do we then draw those lines? I think where you draw the line, ne? Mushi. She, yeah? yeah, leave. You sound like Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey, <laughs> leave. No, listen, because if, if you feel you're being smothered, then there is definitely something wrong. And if it gets to a point where you really, really can't deal, can't handle everything, then maybe, just maybe, that person isn't for you. And as people, we often picky about the stuff we want to do, the type of food we eat. No, I only drink this. Um, I only go and eat at these certain places or I like this certain type of food. Yeah, You can literally be like that even with a partner. So now the tricky part is you know yourself and you don't like being smothered, you know, bothered every five minutes. And then you still find yourself in a situation where you're with somebody that calls you every five minutes. How are you going to survive? Or you know yourself, Uguti, you are the type, it's handa bandla, uguna kwa, it's handwa, like the praises and whatnot. And then you go for somebody that clearly even says to you, I don't like phone calls. Yeah. I don't yeah. like texting. So yeah. now if they're not calling or texting you, Yeah, but here's the thing, T. I'm tired. You know what I mean? Like, y- you can know. I sometimes kind of feel like love is a choice. Yeah, but not really, though. You know, you, 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 you hardly get to choose who you fall for. Follow your heart, but take your brain with you. Yeah, but that, we don't do that now, do we? Now, that's the thing. Because if, if, if you're into a guy that you've just met, yeah, and he explains to you explicitly with, look, I, mean, I do not like being hounded, and I mm. like my space. Yeah. But that's your love language. That is how you love. Mm-hmm. Bear in mind, but let's go back to this as well. Uh, Zulu girls and black girls will forgive me. Black girls are katana. Like, they just become your bodyguard. Like, do you love me or are you protecting me? Are you my bodyguard now? So that's the thing. Like, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> which is true to an extent. Yeah. No, but it's true. Like, my sisters are going to hate me for this one, but yeah. The thing Gotta is, take it, the it bullets. Is true. So now, what happens when you do that? Like, it's your way of showing love. That's your love language. Like, you <laughs> like to check up on me ten times a day. Mm. That's too much for me. But now you are already in love with me. So she. So as you are saying, leave. Is it that easy? Oguti is You know, people try too hard and they portray a different image of themselves during the early stages of the relationship. And I think that's where most of us get caught up because Umundu, obviously, when they're still chasing after you, you're still in the courting phase, they will go the extra mile. And then once you're hooked, I basically, <laughs> and then they lean back. Yeah. And then they start showing the, their true self. And... To the guys listening out there, please, we understand even wow. like the political parties when they campaign, but campaign among, you understand? They give MC. all these empty <coughs> prom- <laughs> empty promises, no no names, no no mention of anything. Hey man, I couldn't yes. help it, I couldn't help it. <laughs> yeah, but 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 Sheila to vote for them, but Sheila manga. Umuntu zofiga gwena ne kipa ne krosa umuntu tseli rise in Istanbul. After you voted, ngegu pindo mon, and play that scenario to relationships while the guy is still chasing you, 
they will say and do all the right things up until you've hooked yourself into loving them. You've given them your heart. Yeah, but, I will say but don't alone. you guys do the same thing? Like you hide your crazy till the guy's hooked. Because let's get this straight. You, you all have a level of crazy. Yeah, Sorry, just, just choose your but crazy yeah, and just, settle. Just choose the amount of craziness I, you are I, willing to, yeah. to, to settle with. But in the in the initial phases, you hide your crazy, you know? Is it really hiding? It is hiding, though, because now why, why all of a sudden does the craziness start unfolding or revealing itself once you know that I'm hooked or once hey, you know into you? Can you back me up here, sister? <laughs> Yeah, um, like now no. you guys want to gang up oh, on I'm me, so sorry. and you know I, what I mean. Like I was in this thing. What was what's been happening? <laughs> we we don't hide our crazy in the initial stages of the relationship. What happens is I can't be crazy over somebody that I don't love. Someone At I don't that time, know. Actually, you're in daba nawe that much. You know, whatever it is that you do can be excused because I'm not emotionally invested in you as yet. So, like Shinja Konugul, a play thing is when feelings come into play. Mm -hmm. You understand? And then that's when the cray cray comes out. Yeah, but <laughs> you're being hypocritical because you're saying guys should reveal who they are, their true selves from the very beginning and the early stages. And their intentions. Yeah, <coughs> but you then now um, sort of defending why women don't do the same. You know what? Oh, oh guys in Shawain consistency keep the same energy throughout the thing you can't is, do that okay now let, you let's can't get, do let, that let's get into that. that the same energy you invested in getting me apply that that same was energy before i saw me. the crazy that's what i'm saying that was before i saw the crazy because you were still hiding it in i can't be consistent queen though that wasn't initially what i was putting my energy into so whatever facade you were putting on when I was asking you out, yeah, and the moment you know I'm hooked, you are now acting accordingly. Now you are coming into your true self and your true being. Now it, it's putting me in a position. No, where I'm like, no, uh, it, 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 it's 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 Lana. not. It, it doesn't even take my um, relationships for that. I think we all have our state of calm. It just takes certain things, certain situations to trigger you. No, but by you crazy, standing I don't in a queue, like you standing in a queue. At a store and some weird shit starts to go on, you're gonna react accordingly. No, but, but you're missing my point. Store with the intention, you will see. Anybody misses or touches me, goes on you. See, you're missing my point. What is your point? By craziness, I am not talking about losing your cool. That's not what I'm talking about. Which cray cray are you talking about? Like, can, can, can you just give me an example? Mklampe. If you were to no, I don't need to try take an example. And, and, You're a woman. You know how you guys are crazy. You don't need anything. But there's to set different you levels. Off. My crazy is different exactly. from Nushi's. That's what we've already Shabbat established. Mina, that. Mina, if I'm angry, the worst I can do. But, but you are basing Unushi it around is anger. gonna burn your place down. You are Jesus basing it around Christ. anger. <laughs> wow. No, like, <laughs> Yeah. No, like that. Uh, whoa. Knew she yeah, just might do that, eh? No, like, guys. I refuse like. to go to jail <laughs> for nyals. Now I'm going to jail because I damaged someone's property and I can't pay. <laughs> <laughs> There's no need. Now I've taken money out of my house. What an inconvenience. No, but you know what I think? Um, to not really focus all my energy into what the definition of crazy is. Mm -hmm. Because. When I say crazy, I'm not talking in terms of what sets you off. That's not what I mean. I mean in terms of bad habits that might deter me, you know, um, in terms of characteristic traits yeah. that you hadn't um, showed me from the beginning that, that might now start being an issue with me in terms of your personality, you know. Now your real personality is coming out, and I'm seeing sides of you that I don't like, you know what I mean? You know so what's funny. Wh I'm yeah. just encompassing all of that when i say crazy yeah you know what's funny about that is guys see the crazy right from the beginning but then they accept no but we don't always see it because you guys hide it you really agree, you agree to that I, you agree to that it's okay Colin. not always you see the signs you guys can hide your amount of crazy we just said now would you pick an amount of crazy you're okay with and settle with it 
but usukungazi sometimes ukuthi kanti crazy lo uhamba uzofike la well sometimes you have to be in it to really find out the same thing with what you were saying then with the guys must show their cards from the beginning you need to be in it to find out so let's not let's not nah, perpetuate hypocrisy nah, like, no it's not this hypocrisy is, this, this is the same thing and that's that okay let, let, let me draw on that one yeah boy. because i'm actually with you on that one like fellas listen <laughs> but i'm with uti on that one and and i've often said uti um who you are from the beginning mm-hmm. to avoid a situation where they go ha can't you know what i mean like mm-hmm. i'm an asshole like a very um <laughs> a very nice asshole though like i'm nice to people is know, very polite is but there I'm an a nice asshole. asshole yeah but but girls that i mess with know that i'm an asshole and they know that from the very beginning so they know exactly what they're getting themselves into which is what i'd much rather prefer not for moon to now six months down the line they are saying go to oh going to unje which now it creates a problem you know what i mean so you must go into something wide-eyed knowing exactly what you're getting yourself into and that's just my stance on it and i feel fellas should do that like bro if you have a temper and she does something when you are still asking her out then don't Show play it. It, don't play yeah. it off as if no yeah. man, i'm okay with this because mm. Now you are, you are putting in a position where she's comfortable with your habits and she's comfortable in who she thinks you are. So should you do the sh- should she do the same thing six months down the line and you guys are now in a serious relationship and you kick off about it? You, yeah, well, she'll be confused. Do it how? And then mm. uh, where are these emotions coming from now? Where is this reaction coming from? So it's better to just be yourself. If we jumpily jumpily, if we because of that kapega because. You want to move to be in a relationship with you for you. So I'm with you on that one. And thank you. <laughs> uh, and th- uh, no, no. Really? You, yeah, like you got to take one for the team. Well, I'm not taking one for the team because these are my views and I stand by them. And I, I, I truly believe firmly in that. So, yeah, that, that's where I stand when it comes to that. So tell me, Hala. Um... With ama insecurities, ne? Um, would we say Uguti, they are always sparked by the other partner, or is it just something that has to do with you as an individual, your self-esteem, you know, your low confidence levels? See, the thing is, um, when it comes to insecurities, it's it's. A two-lane road, you know what I mean? Because I could have insecurities because of my own being. So I'll give an example. Hypothetically speaking, uh, uh, can, <laughs> can we focus on that? I said hypothetically speaking. Let's just say I was a fuckboy. Everybody, you know, hypothetically speaking. And then I just knew she was. Like, heck are you looking at me like that? <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> no, she drink your wine. No, she girl. pulled the sips wine. Look, like what the heck? So let's just say, um, I'm a reformed fuckboy. You know, reformed. Uh, I, let's just say I've cheated on every single partner I've had, mm. and I've I've of, oftentimes been the other guy in the situation where I've been with somebody who has a boyfriend, and they would dribble their boyfriend yeah. in my presence. So when I get into a relationship with somebody, fall for them. And start getting serious. My insecurities can come out in a sense, not because of anything that you've done, but because of my own past, where I was that person. So mm. I am now reading too much into things. If you don't answer your phone, mm. and now it's like, oh yeah, I go on you. When I used to be with somebody else's girlfriend, whenever they don't answer their phone, they would me. So maybe she's doing the same thing. You know what I mean? Ooh. So it's 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 a tricky situation because oftentimes we find ourselves with insecurities that are self-inflicted because of our own past mm. nigga she's with me when she tells you she needs to me time y- you know what i mean like i've been that guy you know so, no bella <laughs> we are still speaking hypothetically <laughs> <laughs> okay Got to go back to that disclaimer because... Yeah, you always have to put a disclaimer. Like, <laughs> I, uh, First of all, I don't cheat. Um, but yeah, I've never cheated in my life. 
Hey, <laughs> other people might say, let's let's define cheating. Because a monument will tell you straight in your eyes, what's a shite deal. So yes, how that's am exactly I cheating why I haven't cheated. Because I wasn't married. I've never been married, so I haven't cheated on anybody. Ooh. That simple. Yeah, but like... It's so to other people being in a relationship and then still fucking with somebody else that's cheating. Hey, but I don't care if you are not married to Where me. Where is and the you loyalty? Cheat. If you do it to me, it's cheating. Oh, nah, if it's no, done I'm to kidding. you, it's nah, cheating. No, 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 I'm kidding. I'm the other kidding. way around, it's cool. I'm kidding. I'm not as hypocritical as women. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt <laughs> coming from a male species. Yeah, the well. hypocrites of note. Are the cheaters the of note. Wow. First of all, men don't cheat. It's called Uguba Yisoga. There's no such thing as a man cheats or a man as a whole. Which like. chapter of Shaka Zulu is that coming from? You wouldn't know because you're a woman. <laughs> 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 I feel like we are Papa right now. You wouldn't know because you're a woman. So, yeah. Uh, please. Join myself, Hala, and me, T, on the No Filter Show. Exclusive to RadioDR.co.za. So, guys, this is my favorite part of the show where we play trivia with our guests. The name of the trivia is Are You Free or Are You Dumb? Hala, please explain the rules. Nushi, nushi, nushi. Hi. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I feel so, like she's not ready. I'm so as ready as I'm going to be, guys. So we're playing a trivia game called... Are you free or are you dumb? dumb? So okay. hopefully you are free. <laughs> oh, wow, guys. So, <laughs> so here are the rules, right? Okay. So T is going to keep score for us. Okay. I'm going to ask you five questions. And Do I win a prize, guys? Uh? I like prizes. <laughs> you can win some wine for wine o'clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Mr. Producer, I need you to hold him to this. I drink Chardonnay. Hey, Woo. man. Hey, man. <laughs> we don't have any bills that we pay yet. <laughs> How? So, so you guys are just making broken promises. <laughs> <laughs> that is called lying. I can see you. <laughs> okay. So with trivia, I'm going to ask you five different questions. Cool. With each question, the rule is you have to wait for me to finish the question before you answer. Oh, no. And I'm going <laughs> to give you four different options okay. to pick from. Okay. Cool. Right? You're good. Yes. Here we go. Nushi. <laughs> Coldplay sang, We Will Rock You. Is this true or is it false? False. <laughs> That's correct. <sighs> Hugh Grant and Julia Roberts play key roles in which film? Is it love, actually? Is it four weddings and a funeral? Notting Hill or Bridget Jones' diary? Number three. Notting Hill. <laughs> I've you still not seen that movie. You know your enough. movies, no? I have never seen that movie. Really? Yes. Weird. Can we make these questions a little harder for her? <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Which architect developed oh the no. Greater London Plan in 1944? Is it what? Adam, Archer, Baker, or Abercrombie? I don't know. <laughs> 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 Number one. Next. Uh, true or false? The British short hair is a breed of dog. What? British short hair. Is a what? A breed of dog. Is okay. That true or is that false? <laughs> true? <laughs> false. <laughs> The British have weird Ooh, things, guys. Uh, I'm like, uh, what? You don't want to be free, man. <laughs> what? Okay, next question. A kimono mm -hmm. would be worn by a person from, is it New Zealand? No. Japan, Persia, or China? Japan. That is correct. I know, because I find those so <laughs> cute. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. The I, I feel like I'm bonus free. Bonus question. Oh. Okay. Yeah, just because we've still got some time. Yeah. The Fur Elise is yes. whose 
very popular <laughs> composition. <laughs> Is it Ludwig van Beethoven or Beethoven? Is it Franz Litz? Is it Franz Schubert? Or is it Wolfgang Amidius Mozart? Ludwig Sorry, Beethoven. What? What? Ludwig Beethoven. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> is it? <laughs> I, I'm so stressed, guys. Uh, I'm so stressed. So I can't uh, believe I it, failed it, at that it, one. It's all good. T, is, is Dushi free? Or yes, is she actually, dumb? that was a bonus. I got uh, all my uh, questions. Excluding the bonus, she got three out of five. Oh, so she got so, three? Yeah. Okay. That yes. I, right. 60%. Right. That's a varsity Okay, do she? All right, all right. Thank you. Got Thank you. A. Wow, so, guys. Well done, do she do? She represented. Well done. Also, guys, don't forget to listen to my show, Wine O'Clock, on Radio DR. That's it. That's it. Bye. Wine, wine, wine. Wine's wine. So, T. Yes. Uh, I just had a moment to think about this, right? Mm-hmm. I'm looking at your face. It looks like you have something to say. Kind of. <laughs> um, you know what's interesting? You, you have um, a couples that don't play games together, don't play quizzes. They don't test each other's general knowledge. And I feel people should really do that. Uh, I, I, the look on your face. I think you're about to be spicy, but okay. Uh, no, eh, eh, kinda no good, Tiazi. You're together with a person for months or years even, and you've never even heard them read out a paragraph, like out loud. <laughs> eh, eh, guys. No, d- d- don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'm not judging. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying anything, but... Should there come a time where you are within people, don't get nasty surprises. Uh-huh. So what type of nasty surprises are we I talking don't wanna about? Con- I don't want to continue, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just... Man, I thought we were doing the unfiltered show. <laughs> so... Hey, hey. What are you talking about? Umuntu says, <laughs> okay, bala makamala. The men, no. So do these things um, sometimes lead to the insecurities we're talking about? So is it possible that sometimes umuntu, we are says, that they are not at their partner's level? Yeah. Either financially, mm-hmm. intellectually, mm-hmm. Um, in terms of sort of sh- like social status, mm. um, with a wide vast of different things as well. Yes. So if minaga since he can get a balamaka mamang fund, de 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 de, and when is Jesus keeping a big gamakal? So do you think that also sort of adds on to what fuels insecurities? Would say. Yes, would there are guys out there yes. that would be better suited for you? Of course, of course, and also to look at the circles that a person you know runs in, and people in those circles, you know their level of intellect, um, how they hold down conversations, yeah, and then you are bringing your plus one. And they sort of need to try and blend in, act accordingly. But what happened to Nga Mishin Chumun to love them as they are? Don't change them, yes. But as you said, that's where insecurities can also kick in. Because now comes somebody that really, really understands me, that understands the type of conversations I'd like to have. Their diction is on point. Everything about them is on point. Oh, the addiction is on point. Oh, okay. <coughs> all right. I know. I thought. I thought. I, for a second there, I thought you were saying something else. But all right. What? Nothing. Continue. What? What? No. Continue. No. No. I, I, I. No. I was. Yeah, the addiction. Yeah. If your addiction is on point, fellas. Which dick? The. I said diction. Diction. Yes. Yeah. So let me just slide on out of there. <laughs> Excuse the pun. Uh, there was no pun, actually. There's no no pun, pun intended. So you are definitely saying that 
these perpetuate the insecurities yes. that people have. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Um, like even myself, I, I, like we as now we illig or comfortable look like lagion basically, and I, I even know what there are certain guys out there. If I were to date this person, I would totally feel out of place. I would totally feel insecure. So what happens if you fall for that person and they fall for you, but you just come <sighs> from different so like social statuses and you come from different walks of life? Look, sometimes it does happen. It's it's inevitable at the end of the day. But you shall suffer during yeah. your turn. Ah, but it works for some people. It does. I mean? it, it does. And obviously, it's not always that you will get somebody that is up to that standard. I think the nice thing also about relationships is being able to grow and explore together, which is why it's also important to find somebody that has an open mind, that's willing to learn and unlearn as well. Because at some point, you need to unlearn certain things and behaviors. How do you grow in the mood of an You know what I mean? Like, no. <laughs> it's just... It becomes tricky, though. It becomes tricky because before you grow with somebody, that person has to be willing to grow for themselves to begin with. Yeah, true. So now that's where the notion comes from. Would say also some change, or you're trying to change me because whoever you're with is not willing to grow out of their comfort zone and their norms and what is the reality for them within their environment. Mm that they either grew up in or that they constantly find themselves in. So it, it becomes a bit tricky now. So it does not go back to Uguti. Just stick to your type. I ain't gonna type. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> that is the only thing that... That's I'm joking. another thing we should discuss, actually, types. Like, at some other point, like, what are types? Yeah, and people often feel highly offended by that. With me, I don't mind. I, I've even been called out. And I'm fine with that because I'm somebody's type. <laughs> we all are. You know, exactly. Are. So people yeah. shouldn't really feel offended. And for your slander, I like meat in like my girls. It's fine. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. We understand, hello. Yes. Your fetish, we very much understand. Kono, it's not a fetish. Ah, fetish. It's Blume. a It's a preference. Blume. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I just so happen to prefer. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> look, I wanted to ask you something, right? Sure. Um, do you feel that whoever cares less in a relationship? holds <sighs> most of the power in that relationship? Mm. In my books, yes. Um, if you are on the other end of being the one that loves more than the other, um, you usually, the other one, so it becomes very, very tricky. Because we as La Uti, you're the one that loves more, you're the one that cares more, you're the one that normally puts in more effort. So Lomunyu relaxil. We as in Uti. Um things go according to how I want them to go. I pull the strings, basically. Lomundulo Uzwangami. And I I'd say that person is dangerous because they often hold the keys hmm. to your heart, inverted commas. But of course, I it depends how much you let in yeah, now it is the other party. You know what I mean? Like, I think power dynamics shift from time to time within a relationship. And I, I, I don't fully agree with the notion that whoever cares less holds more power in a relationship because first and foremost, people oftentimes experience two separate things within a relationship. You're in the same relationship yeah. But you are experiencing two separate things. Yeah. So 
it goes back to Lindo yeah, my love language as well because we we misread people sometimes. Umund will misread you as Umund who doesn't care. Mm. But in fact, you do. Mm. It's just that you are not going to now sign it on your forehead mm. and, and, and sing glory in the mountains every morning. <laughs> y- you know what I mean? So I'll, I'll, I'll use myself as an example. Like, I'm a very mm. sort of I don't care type of person. Mm. You know, not because I don't care, but because not much phases me. And you know what? Relationships are trial and error. Like you can care, but at the end of the day, relationships are trial and error. If it fails, it fails. That's that's what it is. It's not mm. marriage. It's relationships. Keep it moving. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah, just keep keep, keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Keep it flowing. Just keep it going. You know? And but bear in mind, we spoke about people with an obsessive disorder. In fact, well, it was my first time hearing about this. It's an actual, actual disorder. Mm. So now you can't say to Mundu who's got that XN, no, just keep it rolling. What? That is not a reality to them. Mm. Hence, know? passion crimes and whatnot. Maybe that. You know, now you go into a whole world of, yo, you open Pandora's box, you know, with, with, with behavioral patterns that come with obsessive behavior so and they can't keep it moving but I- in terms of the shifting power those dynamics how does that happen when we talk of control and who loves more and who loves this um let's look at it this way right um you are with a partner that feels as though or you feel as though you love them more than they love you yeah and so within this scenario the power in the relationship would be on that person. Mm. But oftentimes, how guys react, and they've taken the back seat. They are relaxed now in the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> when that woman tries to leave. But it's tough. We you are know? Like, when that woman tries to leave and see if that person doesn't care. You yeah. know? And now the power dynamics shift so quick mm. because... I don't know, like, some of the times Ike, for guys, only kicks in. Is placed at the door. <coughs> exactly. So once your foot nears the door, it's like bing, 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 an alarm goes off and it's like, whoa, let's mm. now, you know, check our security measures. We're in Zangalan, you know. Um, so that's why I'm going to, partly I don't feel as though that's true. We'll go to the power in a relationship is whoever cares less. I think... Nakona loko umuntu who cares more can also have more power because hmm. you control the effort that is put into the relationship. You you control the dynamics because certain strings are pulled by you that cares more because the person that cares less has not thought that far yet. Mm. So that also gives you a certain level of control within the relationship. So is it then fair to say you would say the person that cares less has control? Yeah, because the one that cares less usually Yeah, but caring more doesn't mean ungengile. You know? Th- At times, yes. But yeah. th- there are girls that, that will love the shit out of you. True. And if you don't reciprocate those feelings, they are going to take their bags, pack, and go love somebody else. Straight. So is, is it really fair to say if you love less or care less, you hold the power? Mm-hmm. I, I, I think, in essence, people don't really realize their power within the relationship as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They really don't. Um, yo, it's, it, it, it's just amazing how Umuntu, you're all together, and, you know, you're getting the right, and they're putting in the efforts, but... It, it, there really comes a time where they feel that no, this is not for me, or whatever I'm doing is not being reciprocated. I actually applaud those people that can actually pack up their shit, because half the time we find people that actually stay, even though Munda Sebonala Ogoti, you know what? I'm putting in hundred, I'm only getting back thirty percent. You know it's okay to go, right? Do people know that? Like it's okay. I don't think they to do. leave. 
I think they forget. The thing is, but how do you leave if you've got like OLD? <laughs> <laughs> like you no, can't. Like it's, la, it's, it's la an po, actual disorder. Lapo ge pe la segmele si yog la pastrate because it is a mental disorder. So it is a mental illness as well. And uh, actually, even on the article, they were suggesting, Wuti, if you suspect that either a person you know, a friend, a loved one, if you suspect, Wuti, they might have OLD, then the onus is on you, Wuti, and try and get them the help that they need. Yeah, but what help? Like, no, but I'm, I'm not trying to be <laughs> funny, but what help? Like, if if you are obsessed with your partner, mm-hmm. how how can I help you? Like maybe that's the discussion. Let's we go should see be a having. shrink or whatever. Like, yeah, but is it going to make you less obsessive? Like, does that then now diminish the love and obsession you have for that person? It won't, but it will sort of unpack the whole conversation of why are you behaving this way and why do you think you love this person so much that. You're just willing to go ballistic. They know why they're behaving that way. Okay. They know that. Like, Aye, like sometimes, sometimes we think crazy people don't realize they're crazy. Yazi, I'm, into, I'm sorry to use that term loosely. But <laughs> they, 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 they know. It's like when women mean gengyako, gengyako, species yako. Oh, oh. When you start acting okay. crazy, it's not that you don't know that you are acting crazy. You just don't know how to control it or how to stop. You can even tell. So a person's aware. Like, do you think clingy people are not aware that they are clingy? They just don't know what to do about it. It's in their nature. It's what I'm used to. It's what I'm used to. It's their love language. They are aware of their behavior, but they just think it's okay. They think it's okay, yes. They don't see anything wrong with it they yes. just feel that that is how they express themselves and that is how they should show you what's by time hey man express that shit less <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> yeah express that shit less like you know i'm, I'm that type of guy mm. like we don't have to talk when we're not in the mood to talk mm. you know we don't have to see each other if you're not mm. in the mood to see each other. Because that's the thing. People forget that we are individuals within a unit. Above all else, yes. So you are your own person. What if that day I'm just not in the mood mm. to talk? And it's not about the other person. That, that's the thing. People make it about them. Or are they talking to somebody else? All these insecurities, mm. which are dangerous because they build up. And then, as we said, it'll build up from just being merely insecure because of somebody else's individualism mm. that has nothing to do with you. And you build up insecurities to a point where you unknowingly start becoming clingy. And that enhances whatever reaction that you'll get from them. And then, ah, next thing you know, you've graduated to obsession. Yeah. Yeah. Simple thing, like I could literally say, Yazini, tonight I just want to be off my phone, off social media. I just want some me time. I want to relax. I want to recharge. I want to have conversations with myself. Oh. All I said was, <laughs> Yes, because it's not about you at the end of the day. Yeah. And we must really get to a point where we understand ourselves and we understand the people that we're with and not what we would like them to be. Because that's another thing. You know. Yes. When we learned, we learned. How? No, honey. How? <laughs> like, like, get over it. Okay. No, Zatlan, you come for me if you think it's wrong. That'll be you proving good to your line. But Ooh. my thing is <laughs> my thing is, um 
more than anything, understand your partner's love language. Um, because most times insecurities stem from not understanding a love language your mm. and you take social cues of what romantic <laughs> relationships should relationship be. Relationship goals. <laughs> and then you bring them into your relationship without understanding the way your person communicates their love. You know, some mm. people are very vocal. Yeah. Some people are action based. Mm. Yeah, well, some people are both. So if you mix that up and if you expect someone to tell you that they love you every day or tell you that they love you in Jalo and they hang up the phone and that's what you're used to, when they don't, you will think, Kuguti, ah, then mm. you start developing insecurities only to find Kuguti, that person is into you. It's just that that's not their thing to do. And it's that simple. Yeah, and I think the dangerous thing is people always have something to compare to. Yeah, Yeah, every day, and then fast forward, they break up with this boo, they meet somebody else. Now that person's all chilled, like okay. And then they look as how Lumundulo hang for nail in Jalo, or they don't buy me this and that. Usbu used to do this and that. And then automatically for them, that translates to what's all should see this one loves me less. Best when the journey, Buyela Gusbu. I was hang for a gag food, we are saying that's why I got food now because we are saying you know, um, the, these, these are issues that we need to unpack. Mm. that we need to discuss and and hear my views about do um hear what they have to say so guys so here's the question right um what is your take on clinginess what is your take on insecurities have you ever been in a relationship with an insecure person and what really bugged you about them have you been in a relationship where you felt hey was a wangi katu mundu kata was the one get to moon tabasang sandy um or have you been in a situation where you've been the one to be the clingy person or to be the insecure one? Like shed some light for us, you know what I mean? Mm. We we'd like to know what got you into that position and what led to that. So we can discuss it because we'd like to know, you know, we'd like to know. Of course, of course. And also if you have some advice for other people who might still be going through similar things, those obsessions, those disorders, those insecurities, because I think the more we grow and we experience life and, you know, we start to see things for what they really are. We escape living in a bubble and we face um, our relationships in their core reality. Yep. And I think yep. you, you, you start to outgrow certain things now where you can look at yourself and be with a hey, in that relationship i was really clingy i was really safe eh? and certain things led to that so then ubonil and you learn from your mistakes and yeah. going forward yeah. you're not repeating the same mistakes because it's pointless then like what are you doing was it baggage from your past relationships and you repeating the same <laughs> thing <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> You like Zubatala, but so you can't keep on <laughs> repeating the same mistakes. <laughs> but in that very same breath, I also want to say, if you see any signs of your obsession and obsessive love disorder, um, I think seek help. <laughs> <laughs> of course, seek help you and need help, <laughs> and don't be ashamed about it. It is really a thing. Um, I've often heard people say, Yo, Mina, I don't see myself without this person. Or, Seek help. <laughs> Shut up. This is a serious issue. And stay clear from me. <laughs> stay away from me. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> um... So, guys, thank you very much for joining us on the show. On our very first episode of In you know, All Filter or Unfiltered. So, this is your boy, Hala. And this is your girl, T. Aike says Hemp.
Yo lali bonnet. <laughs> Join myself, Hala. And me, T. On the No Filter Show. Where we voice and discuss what everybody is thinking. But is too afraid to say. Topics that people want to engage in. But are too afraid to bring up on public platforms. We go where it is unpopular to go. We dive into real life. With real experience or opinions. No topic is off limits. Exclusive to RadioDR.co.za RadioDR.co.za Original Podcast Exclusive